Gary Speed enjoyed a fantastic career. He remains the most out outfield player for Wales, having appeared 85 times at senior level. He played professionally for Leeds United, Everton, Newcastle, Bolton and Sheffield United with an amazing 535 appearances in the Premier League. He was enjoying outstanding success as Wales team manager in the great tradition of the great game of football. I'd like to ask you now to stand and remember Gary Speed. All the people in Leeds, in Leeds not only supported Leeds, but people around the town who got to know him, um, friends, charities, etc. will tell you the same. That, uh, once he got his kit off, uh, his tracksuit off, he was the sort of person uh, you'd like to think uh, most households in the country were filled with. Such a vibrant man and he, he was doing very well with his country. Had a lot of young players coming through, the likes of Ar Ramsey and everybody knows about Gareth Bale and a lot of other young players he had. The job was going very well for him. It's just, it's very sad. I'm just going to really miss speaking to him. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to miss him really. Just, I'm just going to miss him as a friend really, and and, and a footballer second. You know, the whole of Wales are proud of him. Totally genuine. I can't honestly remember meeting a more genuine person. Everything about the guy was 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 spot on. Was fabulous with the midfield in that day, in those days, and. Um, He'll be sorely missed. Not only one of football's good guys, he was just a, a genuinely good bloke. He had a, a, a huge influence on the club, not only as a, as a footballer and, and very briefly as a, as a manager, but also as, a, also as a person. Gary had such a way about him that he, he would never leave anything to chance. And the fact that he had an, an illustrious playing career, he felt meant nothing as a coach. And he was absolutely determined to get to the top. And we would be in at 8 o'clock in the morning and Gaz would be there. And we would leave at 6 o'clock at night and Gary would be there. Somebody asked me, how, how will you remember him? And apart from it, I think the most, the most poignant thing for me is, is, is the latest memory I'll have of him is, is meeting him in the tunnel after the last game and, and seeing the sort of the knowing look on his face that, that he felt that, you know, all was fine, if you like. You know, he's in this side of his career, he'd chosen now and things were going well and there was a real confidence about the future for him. Everybody is absolutely devastated at this news because fundamentally he was a smashing fella. He was always approachable, always accessible and I go back to commentating when he won the league with Leeds United, the last of the old Football League Championships in the 91-92 season and he was the, the young man in the side and um, destined to play so many more games and offering so much promise. Gary doing fantastic with the, the Welsh team. I mean, they're, they're the international team in forum, so it's, it's very sad news. It's been a bad thing to say about Gary Speed, uh, and that's coming from my heart. He was a lovely lad, always always having a laugh and a joke. He had a lovely little giggle on him. Check away sort of the, the professional side, because we, we play football for the love of it. Obviously, you get paid well for doing it, um, but he was a, a fantastic a dad, a husband, and uh, and family man. He, he, and that's why so I can't understand it. it just, uh, he had everything going for him. Away goes Speed. He's got a start on them all this time. Go on, Gary Speed. Get one yourself, son. And what a great goal. Four goals to nil. And Gary Speed really wrapped things up. Well, yesterday, as we know, we lost Gary Speed. Not only a loss to the world of football, but a loss to the world, which is definitely a worse place without Speed's presence. Speed crossed football rivalries with his charm, grace and professionalism, which brought him so much respect. It's the reason the tributes over the last 24 hours have been so heartfelt, with so much love for a man who made so many people smile. His achievements in the game are nothing short of amazing, and his contribution to Leeds United never forgotten as he lifted the club from the second division to the top of the first. Tonight here on Yorkshire Radio, we pay tribute to Speedo, a top-class footballer and a top-class man. We'll be hearing from his former teammates, friends and fans and reading some of your memories and tributes for a true Leeds United legend. If you want to send us your stories, your memories tonight of Gary Speed, get involved, go to the website yorkshireradio.net and click on email the studio. You can Twitter us as well, at Yorkshire Radio. You can also send us a text as well, text the word radio, plus your name and comment to 82222. Text costs 25p plus your standard network rate. As you can imagine, we have had absolutely loads of stories and memories 
memories of Gary Speed coming into us today. We've also got Don Matteo in the studio with us, and uh, Don Pollard from the uh, the fans panel. We're going to be discussing Gary Speed's career as well as uh, hearing from Gary McAllister, also his former manager, of course, Howard Wilkinson here at Leeds, Simon Grayson, one of his closest friends, and Matt Jones as well, somebody who will be joining us on the phone live, the uh, former Welsh international who arrived at Leeds United as uh, Gary Speed was in the first team, somewhat of his idol. He'll be joining us live a little bit later on on tonight's match day replay, Gary Speed special. But uh, let's just remind us, first of all, of Gary Speed's career. Born in Mancote, Wales, Gary Speed grew up supporting Everton, a club he'd joined in the mid-1990s. But his footballing career began at Leeds United, making his debut at the age of 19 in 1988. He went on to win the league championship in 1992, and these fans remember him fondly from his time at Ellen Road. Everything about the guy was, was spot on. Was fabulous with the midfield in that day. A true legend. One day maybe could have managed club. Followed him all the way through when he came through from Leeds. True legend in our minds. After two seasons at Everton, he moved to Newcastle United, where Speed spent a further six years featuring in two FA Cup finals. After moving to Bolton, he became the first player to reach 500 Premier League appearances. He ended his playing career at Sheffield United, where after a spell on the coaching staff, he became manager in 2010. However, three months later, he left to become the manager of the Welsh national team, for whom he won 85 caps more than any other outfield player. He played alongside Dean Saunders, who tells Sky Sports News that Speed was a model professional. I roomed with him all the way through my career, and he wouldn't go to sleep without doing his sit-ups and his press-ups, playing to a, a nearly 40, and, and that was just his desire and his determination. Wales were on their knees as a footballing nation when Gary Speed took the job 117th in the world. But less than a year later, after four straight victories, he'd led his country back into the top 50. His former Newcastle teammate Robert Lee said, his speed has made a huge impact. He's turned Wales round, really. He had a very difficult job, but he's, he's brought some brought a lot of the youngsters in. Described by friends as a family man and great teammate by so many, Gary Speed leaves behind his wife Louise, who he married in 1996, and two children, Tommy and Ed. Gary Speed, who died yesterday in the studio, is Don Matteo and Don from our, our fans panel. The two Doms with us uh, this evening. Um, you know, normally, of course, on a match day replay, we're here to talk about you know Leeds United's latest game and, and the results at the weekend, and you know all kind of footballing matters. But all of them pale into insignificance tonight, and it's been um, an incredibly tough um, 24 hours. Particularly, you would expect for, of course, Gary Speed's family, but you know everybody who um, looked up to Gary Speed, which seemingly, according to some of the tributes, is, is almost everybody who's, who's who's ever known Gary Speed or watched him play football. Um, Don Matteo, uh, first of all, where were you when you heard this, this shocking news yesterday? Just waking up Sunday morning, you know, you get a few text messages and a few phone calls and it was just disbelief, you just couldn't believe it, you know, literally, you see him on Football Focus on Saturday afternoon with, with Gary Mack chatting away and you just, you know, it looks like everything's fine and next thing you know you hear his dad, it's just very, very sad because like, you know, everything's been said. Gary, mm. Gary was a great footballer and also a great man, and I think that's you know that's the way everyone sees it. You know, no one's saying a bad word about Gary Speed. He was a and a fantastic professional as well. He, he was, for me, you know, Gary's a bit older than me, but he's the kind of pro that you'd want to be like because he dedicated himself. You know, Sam Allardyce has said today when he joined at Bolton at 34, you know, he thought he might get a year, but Gary Speed bought into the way Sam did things with the technology and stuff, and it put a few more years in his career. He wanted to learn all the time, and that's why I think he went on to be. A good manager, but you know everything's been said about Gary. It's just a sad loss, and obviously we're all thinking about him and his, fa and his family. You know, you, you mentioned that, Dom. I mean, you know, when I when I hear things and stories about people in football, you might hear some negative things sometimes about players, but just n nothing about Gary Speed, nothing but but love and affection and, and respect. No, I think that's that's you know that just proves the man he was. That, you know, everyone, everyone, everyone's. You know, I've, I've just been outside the, the you know Billy Bremner statue, and there's so many people from mm. even different clubs turn up with the even seen the Man United shirt down there. You know, which is just the respect they have for him as a footballer. And it's you know, we've lost a, we've lost a, a footballer, and I think it's you know it's, it's great that clubs can actually put the rivalries to bed. You know, and, and mourn a real loss for the game. Dom, you, you, you know, you've been up at the, up the Bremner statue as I, as I was earlier on today. I mean, it's. Um, you can't help but feel very emotional, I think, when you, you're reading some of those messages and, and seeing the people that have come down. No, absolutely. It's devastating. And, I mean, some of the um, the messages and the uh, wishes of goodwill to his family, and it's it's really touching. And, I mean, uh, there's n numerous things that Dom touched on there. There's, like, a Man United shirt down there. Whenever would that happen? A Man United shirt be outside Ellen Road, but it just it doesn't matter. You know, there are far more important things, and uh, it's important that the 
the world of football now respects his family, I think, and uh, gives them the time to grieve and... We all remember what a true gentleman and a true a great player he was. It, it, it's so shocking, Dom, yeah. which, which is why I think I certainly am. I'm struggling to get my head around it. I'm yeah. struggling to sort of deal with this in a, in any way, and and I, and I think that's what's what's taken everybody completely by surprise. Yeah, I think you know because obviously the, the job he's doing at Wales, he's so keen. You always see him watching games. You know, my friends they see him at Man City, and you know he's, he's always keen to go out and watch teams and learn different systems. And he got, he got Wales playing some really good football. You know, the way they were playing, we talking about some of the goals they've scored in the last few matches. Yeah. Fantastic football. And he just looked, he was going to have a great, bright future as a manager. And it's, like you said, it's, it's just such a loss, you know, because he was such a fit and healthy guy. You just, you just, you know, there's obviously reasons why it's happened. And, you know, it's it's, it's just a tough one. And like you say, I'm, I'm still in shock as well. I think, I think everyone is in the football world. Yeah, everybody's asking that question, you know, today, why. Um, Bogdan has got in touch with us. He says, as a foreign fan, lucky enough to move to Leeds a little over a year ago, I never got to see Gary play. However, his reputation was always immense. His name, integral of all the stories uh, tied to Wilco's fantastic team, the outpour of affection from around the country, shows what a great loss he is, but equally the immediate rallying of our fans in honouring him is a reminder of what a great family and identity this club has. Very sad at Speedo's passing, but again, very proud to support Leeds United. Keith Ingham says, I met him in 1992 at the ground with my daughters. He was such a lovable bloke and a proper gentleman. In these days of overpriced uh, paid players Gary Speed was somebody to look up to whatever happened uh, from yesterday dinner time when he was on Football Focus must have been something so bad he made the decision to end his life in such a tragic way of course if those reports are true Gary Speed was a legend at Leeds United and it's not a term I use lightly good night God bless and rest easy Gary Speed um, lots of tributes coming in along those lines um, let's hear from Gary Speed's former teammate then Gary McAllister who was uh, on Sky Sports News a little bit earlier on afternoon a very tearful and emotional as you'd expect Gary McAllister the, the news just turned me to jelly. I, I, I couldn't believe what he was saying, and obviously it's not something that anybody would joke about. It wasn't a hoax call or anything, but it just it shook me to the, to the bones. I was, I was in shock for most of the day. I then obviously had to try and get a hold of Gordon and Howard Wilkinson, you know, obviously the manager and his, his other teammate at Leeds, and to let them know before the news broke to the, to the, to the, to the media. And so... I just couldn't believe it, but you know, being with them that day, well, effectively that day, uh, shooting at, uh, at Football Focus, we 20 minutes before we went on air, he was, he was a normal Gary Speed to me, he's just a guy that, that, I, that I've known for a long, long time, he was, he was very excited about the prospects of his, of his Welsh national team, the, some good experienced players and, and the emergence of all the, the cracking young players that he's got, um, he was talking about the you know the the negotiating for the for the Euros, you know, and and amongst and, and amongst that was the was Craig Levine and the Scottish delegates. So he was upbeat. He was he was he was Gary Gary Speed. He was he was looking class. He was immaculately presented as he normally is. He's a he's a movie star in my eyes, you know. And uh, and then the then afterwards again, uh, Alan Shearer was there preparing for his match of the day in the evening. With 20 minutes, they were discussing. Uh, some some black tie charity events that they were they were going to be going to in the, in the near future, and he just you know there was no I couldn't see anything in, in Gary that suggests that he was depressed or or, or, or or feeling anxiety. You know I just couldn't have sensed. It was just it was just it was just the Gary speed that I know. Well I, I got I got up to Ellen Road in 1990 and Gary you know who he, I think just I've just been hearing that him David Batty and Simon signed all at the same time. It was Eddie Gray who signed them. But that was the thing, those were the three players, the three youngsters that were closest to the first team and it was just this, I'd heard of David Batty and played against David Batty but Gary was just emerging as I was arriving. And he was just that fresh faced, you know, enthusiastic, you know, first on the training ground, last off it. Just a lover of the game, you know, and, and bought into the Howard Wilkinson way, bought into the, what Gordon Strack and the, our elder statesman and the team brought to the club and brought to the team and always willing to listen and, 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 and improve and get better. And he, and someday, you know, I've, I've seen Gary Speed play with ankles the size of my knees. You know, that was such his desire to, to play for his club that he, that, he, that he grew up with. I know he was an Everton fan, but he was an, a, a young apprentice at Leeds. And his desire and hunger to play, that it was, he was, I think it was an ever-present the year we won the, we won the league. And it was just a privilege to, to know this guy and, 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 and play beside him. He was the guy that sort of took these guys under his wing, you know, when he, Gordon had got to Leeds United before me, obviously, and he'd taken Batty and Speed under his wing, and they, 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 they were now seeing how to live the life of a professional footballer, and, and look at the careers that they, both of them had. And, it's, they, it's, and Howard, Howard's, he, he, he couldn't believe 
you know, when, when, the, when the news broke either. It's, you can imagine somebody who's been like a father figure, looked after, you know, taking the responsibility of looking after Gary when he left, left his home in Wales. It was, it was Howard's responsibility to, to look at, and his job to look after a young apprentice and, and mould him into the, the, the man that he was. Ah, Gary to me, you know, the, you know, watching all the tributes and, and watching all his Welsh, Leeds, Newcastle, Bolton, Sheffield, all his colleagues, you know, he's, he's just the guy that we all love. I mean, it's not, as, not necessarily just as a footballer, which he was a fantastic player and, and the number of games that he played, but just a good friend. And incredibly choked up Gary McAllis, as you'd expect, with the, the news that he received on uh, on Sunday morning, and particularly after um, spending the afternoon with Gary Speed. Of course, he was doing football focus on that uh, on Saturday afternoon. Um, th this afternoon, that the, the family of Gary Speed have said they've been overwhelmed by the support that they've received uh, following his uh, death. Uh, uh, Hayden Evans. Um, said uh, it's their family wants to uh, thank everyone who sent messages of condolences and tributes in a very difficult time. Leeds United will be wearing black armbands, of course, uh, for tomorrow's game at Nottingham Forest. There will also be a minute's silence um, ahead of kick-off. It was an incredibly emotional day yesterday, of course, uh, in the top flight. And, um, you know, we, we've heard and we're going to hear a lot more from, from you know people who knew Gary Speed in incredibly well. Don, what, what were your... Um you know, your memory sort of on the pitch doing battle against somebody like Gary Speed. Yeah, we well, saw. You know, obviously I was at Liverpool. Gary was at Everton. Mm. You know, so you, you, you see other players around. And he just, he was, like I say, you know, I know it's all been said. He was just a good guy, like old guy. You know, probably went for a pint with his mates after the game. You know, he, he was just a normal guy playing football. You know, and uh, I heard um, someone talking before about when Bobby Robson and, and um, Gary used to <laughs> speak a lot, and. You know, I've met Bobby, Bobby Robson a few times and he's just missed the football and he was actually saying that people are saying that him and Gary were very alike, you know, in a lot of ways, just just loved the football and loved, you know, loved being involved and around it. And I think there's not, there's all these players out there, you know, everyone, but, you know, I think there's some people that, that football really is everything to them. I think Gary's one of those people. Tom, you know, your your first memories then of seeing, um, you know, Gary Speed play at Leeds. Yeah, I mean, well, um, when I first started coming to Ellen Road, I was six years old, and um, people like uh, David Batty and Gary Speed were just coming through the ranks, and uh, obviously that midfield were the best, certainly in England at the time, there was nothing near it. You know, uh, Strachan, McAllister, mm. Batty and Speed, it just rolls off the tongue. And he was just a cracking player, he had a left foot, right foot, he could header a ball, he could cross the ball, he, he, was, just, he was just an awesome player. And uh, mentioned earlier about the silly fees that have been paid for players nowadays, you just wonder what type of fee he'd command in that if he was a yeah. Yeah. player in the modern day. And he's just sad loss to football, not just as a as, a, as a footballer and a manager, but as a person. So. Is it his professionalism, Don, that you, that you as a fellow pro sort of looks at and thinks, I mean, you know, he's a great player, but, sure. but you, you, you think about that a bit? You look up to that as a player. Um, me personally, I think you know it's the players likes of the Gary Speed that I looked up to more than ever. You know, it's the same. I have the same sort of thing with Jamie Carragher. You know, he's just a f Mr. Football. You know, and he just I think Gary's the same. It's just like they just just love being around football and love being involved in football. And I just think people like that. Whenever you meet them, you can't help but be taken back by by how, how they are. You know, um, he just certainly was a gentleman. Whenever I come across Gary and. You know, I met him at a few dinners at Leeds United and stuff, and he was just a good bloke, just one, one, you know, just one of the boys, and was lucky enough to play football and, and be very good at it. Um, I, I have been asking people today for their memories and tributes, and uh, you know, quite emotional going through some of them that have been sent through on email. Ram Wilson uh, from the Pigeon Detectives, he says. Um, uh, memories of, of Gary Speed Mine is when I was taken to Ellen Road for the first time in 1991 I was uh, breathtaking walking into the stadium we played Nottingham Forest and beat them 1-0 Gary McAllister scored after the game my older cousin uh, took me to the back of the West End to meet the players as they leave Gary Speed was the first to come out he was so nice uh, signed some bits for me after that he was my hero as a kid uh, when I was uh, back at school I played football and used to think I was Speed he made a young fan very happy and inspired me I'll never forget that and uh, for that I thank him RIP mate um, also Hazel Lockwood says Gary Speed will forever be a Leeds legend he came through the youth ranks here spent nearly 10 years here he's one of the reasons not only do me and my family support Leeds but also love them too no matter what club he was at he gave 110% and he's part of the reason why Leeds are the historic club they are today we'll forever love him and I'm going to get the uh, home shirt with Speed 11 on the back um, as that's his number that's from Hazel in Leeds lots of tributes all along these lines I was um, fortunate enough to meet Gary Speed on uh, you know, on a few occasions, particularly when he was at Sheffield United and a few things around the city of Leeds. And actually, end of last season, he he was in Harrogate actually at uh, Willow Tree Primary School and. Um uh, giving a little coaching session to the kids there who are going to go down and play in the final of this Empower Kids Cup before the playoff final actually the championship playoff final and um, 
I, I think you know a lot of people have sort of said stories like this about Gary Speed, but um, when you when you speak to a guy and, and somebody in football, and he's an international manager, Welsh manager at the time, of course. Um, they could be quite difficult, but he was so accommodating. I was trying to do an interview with him, and then it started raining. It was pouring it down in the, in the playground, and you know, and I'm thinking I'm a bit nervous. I'm meeting one of my heroes, and I'm chatting to him, and and and, and it starts raining. I'm thinking, oh, I'm gonna, I've got to stop this interview. I've got to go elsewhere, you know. And I said, Gary, I said, I've got to stop it. I said, Do you mind just coming inside? You know, we'll, we'll go. This, we go. We actually did it in the staff room, eventually, and and just so accommodating. And I know it doesn't sound like much, but yeah. you know, from. You know, from people's experience, just like Gary Speed, that time to do that. And I've heard a million stories like that, yeah. Dom, of him yeah. just stopping and talking to people and just talking football with people. It wasn't an issue for him. Yeah, that's an amazing thing. You know, I know a lot of footballers who wouldn't give people the time of day. Mm. Um, not, not, not a lot, but you know, there's a few. And just Gary wasn't like that. He, you know, he'd, he'd talk to anyone about football. And, you know, I think Leeds United as well for him, you know, coming through the ranks was, was always, his, always, his, always his club, his special club, you know. And I just think, you know, like, like you say, it's just. Every time I hear a story now, the last few days, it's just been something nice. He's just a normal guy, like I say, playing footy, and there's not many mm. people like that, you know, in my opinion. And I think it's just, just a true loss for everyone. We um, we know we've, there's obviously been tributes um, at the Bremner statue. You know, fans have been coming down. Hundreds and hundreds of supporters have been coming down since yesterday, um, sort of lunchtime when the news broke. Um, we spoke to a few Leeds United supporters earlier on today to get um, their thoughts on the Leeds United legend Gary Speed. Shocking, staggering, upsetting at all at once kind of one of the greatest football players I've ever seen play for Leeds yeah uh, one of my first idols as well in football one of the players I've always looked up to in life Savage says why 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 there was no reason or what we can't see a reason he's a lovely bloke brilliant what can you say cultured left foot brilliant in the air uh, just amazing I mean I had a season ticket here when I was a young kid and obviously when Gary Speed and brilliant midfield were hmm. Really, really playing some great football. Uh, I just, I don't know what to say. Really, I really don't. It's it's unbelievable. I Absolutely it's, unbelievable. That's I was, thing, isn't it? it's I was out of the country shock. yesterday morning, and right. my friend texted me straight away. You know, and just couldn't couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. I really, really. Everybody's asking why. Obviously, yeah. but you just got to think about the family and you know show some respect. You know, um, come down here, show the respect in the right way. Um, yeah, and just show support wherever you can to the family, you know, whoever concerned. I mean, it's not just Leeds fans, it's Newcastle, Bolton, football in general, really, you know. Yeah, because he was one of those players that sort of, well, sort of transcended clubs, didn't he? Everybody liked he, Gareth Speed. He, he plays the type of football that you wanted to see, you know, he was fair, he was tough, and he played in an era where you had to be tough, you know. Um, what can you say? I mean, it always just seems to be the ones that are just brilliant, mm. you know. What's going on the back of the, sh the shirt today? I'm getting there's only one guy speed. I mean, I think it's uh, appropriate. I mean, I've got I've got like four shirts at home, you know, so I just thought I'd come in and get another one. I mean, I wanted to do some, I've just laid some flowers down as well, so I just wanted yeah. to pay me on tribute, really. True legend. I mean, all the 300 games here, and it's loved by fans. I can see with stuff out there now. And it's horrible news to hear. Um, it's just truly shocked. It's not something you'd think of, really. Not from Gary. Not at all. That's what uh, some fans were telling us a little bit earlier on today, and what's been an incredibly emotional day, you know, particularly down at uh, Ellen Road. Um, this is a match day replay special for for Gary Speed, uh, looking back and remembering, um, you know, a true great of of the modern era of football, of course, and uh, a man who helped Leeds United not only get promoted back to the top division but win the championship in uh, 1992. We're going to be hearing from Simon Grayson a little bit later on, uh, Glyn Snodder and Eddie Gray as well, who signed Gary Speed as a schoolboy um, while he was at uh, at the club. Um, and also, if you've uh, if you've missed the first part of, of tonight's show, it's going to be repeated at nine o'clock. The match day replay will be six o'clock and nine o'clock every single Monday evening. But um, we're joined on the line now by uh, a former teammate, a former international teammate of uh, of Gary Speed, and uh, former Leeds player Matt Jones, who came up through the academy um, just as Gary Speed was in the first team, and then of course he, he departed for for Everton. And uh, I'm really pleased that Matt's joined us on the line now. Matt, um, I can only imagine it's um, it's been a tough 24 hours for yourself like like everybody else how are you bearing up yeah as well as well as it can be to be honest you and uh you know at a time where the unexpectedly uh, a good friend of 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 mine not only myself of many welsh internationals and, and i think the general public as well speak speaks volumes 
the amount of tributes that have gone to Gary, not just from sports people and people he'd um, affected or impacted on in the sport, but the general public who he was very open with and, and kind to, and a lot of people could relate to him and a lot of people inspired to him. Matt, you know, your first um, dealings with Gary Speed, would they have been at Leeds? <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Um, my first memory was going back when I was 12 years old. I arrived at uh, Ellen Road, the old training ground, which was which was, which was based at Ellen Road. Um, and Gary, obviously, being, uh, well, still young himself, to be honest with you, but the maturity I, I remember from him welcoming me to the club uh, as a young boy. Obviously, Gary was the only Welshman at the club at the time, and I was the next sort of Welsh prospect on, on the way through. And I think Gary realised that. He knew how difficult it was um, to be part of such a, a massive club and an historic club, which in the end it turned out, I don't suppose he knew at the time how much of a, a name and impact he was going to make on, on Leeds United. But uh, certainly that day I look back to and, you know, what typifies Gary and what I remember is that he welcomed me with, with open arms as if he was the owner of the club, you know, and I think he knew how, how daunting it was turning up and hundreds of miles away from home, um, leaving your parents behind and and obviously off on a new new adventure. And what what was great about Gary, and, and he, he was still the same to this day, is that he had done his research on me. He was obviously told I was coming to the club, but I didn't need introduce him or nothing. He just came and, and welcomed me. He knew which part of the world I was from. Um, said to me, you know, you should be playing rugby. And as a cheeky 12-year-old, I was thinking to myself, well, you haven't seen me play yet. You haven't seen me tackling. Um, <laughs> which was which was quite bizarre because, um, you know, I always looked up to, to Gary and being a youngster at Leeds United, you know, we had David Batty, Gary McAllister, Gordon Strachan, all these fantastic players to look up to. But being as a, a, a Welsh young young player, wanting to succeed in in the professional game i had uh, so, someone someone different to look up to and, and emulate and that was you know gary speed you know he, he had everything going for him and as a youngster it's, it's not just his, his ability and his will and maturity you know you, you even look at silly things like his looks you know and he was, he was a great looking young man and you know you just wanted to be him just like the younger players these days want to want to be the next david beckham you know it's, so he was a big inspiration for me but what was what was fantastic is that I was able to to have that first hand, you know, I wasn't reading books about him, I was experiencing and taking things from him every day. And and you'll have obviously represented your country, you know, alongside Gary Speed as well. I mean, you know, we we're, we're talking, you know, tonight about the impact he's had at Leeds United. Um the impact he's had for for Wales and, and Welsh football cannot be underestimated, can it? No, no, of course. I mean, uh, we can speak about Gary in, in, in so many different ways, you know, and a lot will relate to him, uh, uh, you know, the success he had on the field uh, that he's had recently off the field. But, you know, you can talk about how much of a character he was, um, what personality he had, what generosity, the care, the love that he shared with, you know, with absolutely everyone. Um, you know, I... I've, I've heard so many stories uh, with the past couple of days, and I've got so many stories my st- myself to tell. Um, <laughs> this again, I was—I can't even talk about it without. Uh, I'm sorry about this. No, it's okay, Matt. I think everybody is. Um, everybody's feeling very numb at the moment, and it's very tough. Yeah. Um, like I say, it's. We, <laughs> quite amazing how, how everyone feels feels hurt and, and saddened by, you know, a, a sudden shock of a death. It's it's unbelievable. And, and to a guy which seemed that everything, he had everything at his feet, he was, he was successful in everything he'd done, everything he spoke about it was was incredible. You know, I'd met his wife, uh, Louise, and his two boys more recently at the Welsh International Game. I hadn't seen them for, for a good couple of years. And I've already told this story a, a couple of times. And you know what I'd seen in his in his two boys was was future Gary Speed in in his ways. Um, you know they were very polite. They were young gentlemen. Brought them up in in a fantastic light, and and that to me re- really showed. It didn't surprise me because the amount of years I spent with Gary, 
Um, but it was just a nice touch. It, it's people like that at the moment that we all feel for. You know, his, his, his wife, his two young children, close family. Uh, myself, I class myself as a very good friend to Gary. And, you know, we're feeling it so much at the moment. And it, it shows, you know, just, just the public are feeling it as well. People who have never come across him before or people who, ha- who have and have experienced his, his generosity or his modesty. You know, there's, there's all the kind words in the world you can you can think of at the moment. You can relate to Gary and, you know, you can speak about so many experiences to identify or explain um, the reasoning behind why he was generous or why he was kind and why he was a gentleman. He's just a fantastic person and... You know, it's grief at the moment. I've I've not had much in in my life, to be honest with you. And at the moment, it, it's I'm finding it very, very, dis- very difficult. Um, I woke up this morning and I, I felt as if I had the worst hangover in the world. You know, a thumping headache. I felt so so much exhaustion in my body because I'm, you know, I'm grieving, grieving. And you know, like I said, I can't imagine what uh, what his close family are feeling right now. So. You know, I think we all send our love to Roger, his dad, his, you know, his, Louise, and all, all all the family around. And I know they appreciate the support, but words can't explain. You know, everyone's asking why, and I, I think that's been the, the most popular used word uh, within the last 24 four hours is why, and there's, there is no answer at the moment. Matt, um, I think you sum up how a lot of people are thinking. We, we really appreciate your time and, and sharing some of your your stories of uh, of Gary Speed, the world's lost a, a great man, and uh, I, I'm, I'm with you on that. I mean, I, th- I was hoping that we'd wake up this morning and it was all going to be a nightmare, but you know, unfortunately, it's not. And um, we really appreciate you joining us on Yorkshire Radio tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, this is the Match Day replay tonight, um, a special edition of the Match Day replay, of course, as we look back on Gary Speed's life and his career and uh, and remember one of the, the true gate greats of the game uh, this evening. Uh, and my thanks to Matt Jones for, um, for joining us on the line because um, I think it... Uh, I think you could tell just how emotional he was. Dom, somebody you know, Matt Jones, and yeah. um, he's really shaken up by that. Yeah, you know, obviously, he's, you know, he, um, with the Welsh connection, I think everyone at Wales, especially the younger lads coming through, looked up to Gary, as you would, as you know, a model professional. You know, I think he's a record cap holder, apart from the goalkeepers, I think, over yeah, the years. Yeah, Neville Southall, is he? Yeah, you know, and it's just, I think, in, in, especially in Wales, and I, I know in England as well, but in Wales, he was a real idol, I think, for a lot of young lads growing up, and I think with Matt as well, you know, playing that similar sort of position in the midfield player as well. You know, I think they had a close bond, and you can see obviously he was very emotional. And it's, um, I think, you know, like you say, a lot of people in football are, are taking it very, very hard because he was such a such a great guy. Those figures are, are so important in the game, though. I mean, yeah. everybody can point to people, you know, of that yeah. in that Gary Speed mold, but they're but they're crucial not only for um, you know for the team that they're playing in, but for, for younger players as well. That that kind of yeah. that role they have. You know, we, we all had them at, when we when you're growing up at clubs. You know, like John Barnes was the, was the player I looked up to, and Ian Rush, them kind of people. And you're lucky to have them kind of guys in your squad. And I'm sure, I'm sure here in other clubs, you know, it's not, probably not here because Gary was a young player himself. But I'm sure when he was at other 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 teams, he was one of the, one of the uh, the players that I'd I'd say would have looked up to. And I think a lot of people would have learned a lot from Gary Speed with his his attitude on and off the field. Um, still having plenty of emails coming in as you'd expect. I think people just want to try and put the, you know, how they're feeling into words. Um, Paul uh, has got in touch as a lifelong Leeds fan. Gary is one of my favourite Leeds players. Privileged to see him uh, help us from the second division to the champions of England and participate in the European Cup. You'll never be forgotten, Gary. Uh, Michael McCarthy says. Um, uh, I'm asking as a, a Leeds United uh, lifelong support I feel a book of condolence uh, should be set up online I think there is a few of these actually out, out there and available um, that's from uh, Michael who's uh, in Ireland and uh, Adam Jubb has just emailed saying that too many times um, have Leeds United lost heroes tragically prematurely uh, on a personal level I feel like I've uh, lost uh, lost uh, uh, a member of my family in Gary Speed, like many of my generation, the magical years, the Wilkinson era provided uh, more cherished memories than any others, and at the heart of all that lay the midfield. Strachan, Batty, uh, Jones, then McAllister and Speed. It always seemed uh, uh, the way that it was last mentioned, perhaps quite fitting uh, as it being reflected uh, what he ultimately was, low profile and vastly underrated um, as far as uh, Gary Speed is concerned. Lots more in the uh, the same sort of mould as that from, from Adam Jubb. Um, Dom, um, the Leeds fan. Uh, because <laughs> we've got both of them in the studio. Um, as far as you know, sort of his contribution to the team. Why do you think he's he, he's held you know in in such esteem? Is it just simply the, the team that he played for, or the, or the way he went about 
his 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 game and, and the way he went about things on the pitch. I think both to, to be honest, Tom. I think you know a, anyone any member of that team um, from ninety one ninety two is um, maybe Eric Cantona aside is just will long live in the memory of all Leeds fans. And but then I think coupled with that, the fact that he was such a nice guy and he was such a true model professional. And um, I mean, like you came out with the uh, story earlier on about the mm. school uh, up in uh, Harrogate, and he was just. I've spoke to so many people who've got stories like that. I've got one myself. I was um, a restaurant in Leeds with my mother and father and my little sister. And I was only young myself, and um, he was there with Gary Kelly and a few others. And he took time out of the meal to talk to us, and he was not a problem. Signed autographs. He was absolutely spot on. And uh, I think the fact that he played in that team, he was a great, great player, great servant to the game, and uh, he was such a nice guy. I just think he'll long live in the memory of everyone connected to football he certainly will do um, as people try and get their heads around what's happened at the weekend um, we'll hear from Eddie Gray and Simon Grayson um, very shortly before the end of tonight's special match day replay but I, I want to uh, play a little bit from Brendan Ormsby who we spoke um, uh, for, uh, spoke about um, spoke to about Gary Speed a little bit earlier on today because Brendan was at Leeds when uh, when Gary Speed was sort of um, you know coming up through the ranks signed by Eddie Gray as a, as a schoolboy and then started to come up through the ranks this is what uh, Brendan Ormsby the former Leeds skipper had to say about him I've known him for five years I went, when I went to Leeds from Aston Villa back in 86 he was coming through the ranks with David Batty and a few Simon Grayson uh, as apprentices so I got to know him fairly early on when I joined the club um, he was a very quiet lad to start with obviously some lads are when they're not at that age but as you, as you gradually got to know Speedy and you know obviously you're getting older and getting breaking into the first team squad um, he was I mean I know everyone we all, we're all going to say things nice about him but is not a bad thing to say about Gary Speed uh, and that's, that's coming from my heart um, he was a lovely lad, always always having a laugh and a joke. He had a lovely little giggle on him whenever you know you made ever you made him crack a joke or he, he laughed at you, which is all the time. The speed he loved to laugh and joke with the boys. Um, he had a lovely little giggle on him, uh, and, he, and it, you know another thing about him was he was a he was. I mean, people are saying today, you know, uh, he was manager of Wales and he was this and he was that, but he was a very ordinary. I don't mean that in a bad way. He was just a down to earth fella. As a person, you could, you know, every time we met, even though he's manager of Wales, we always had a chat. Or he always had time to stop and have a laugh and a joke and getting on and what we were doing. Um, yeah, I mean, he was, he was one of them lads that you'd always want in your side. On your, you know, on a night out, he was great. And the thing about it, on a night out, he was just, a, he was so good looking. It made it difficult for the rest of us when we all went out for a drink. Um, but he, you know, he was that type of fellow. He had a lovely smile on his face. Um, and he was he'd do anything for anyone and he, like you say the, the career he had over his time as well I was there at Bolton when he played his 500th Premier League game I was playing the game for the Press Association and I was actually there the day he, he made his 500th appearance and his two kids were in the tunnel with him with his wife as well uh, and it's just a shame you know I mean it's a shame for him to do this at any time but you know, come up to Christmas as well so you've got to obviously feel sorry for the, the family, the, the wife and the two two children as well. It's, it's just, I don't know how, who found him, or, or, you know, but it's got to be devastating for them. That's uh, Brendan Ormsby, the former Leeds United player, with um, with with his thoughts and memories of of Gary Speed, who uh, died yesterday, and uh, we've been paying tribute to him this evening on the match day replay. Simon Grayson and, and Eddie Gray on the way, and extremely touching reading some of the uh, some of the emails and people's memories and everything else. Seems like everybody's got a story uh, about Gary Speed. I guess I guess you know something we touched on about the, the start of the show, Dom was. Um, just how shocking this is, and I think it's hard for people to get get to grips with it at the moment. I think yeah. it's it seems like it's going to take a while for this to all sink in, isn't it? Yeah, I, I think because when you look at you look at Speedo, you know he's a good-looking bloke, fit as a fiddle, you know, and obviously doing fantastic in his mm. job. You know, two boys and you know, why if you just think, you know, what's brought him to do this? And that's the question that you know everyone's going to ask, and that's the reason why I think we're all in shock because he, you know, he was that model professional sort of fit person that you just think you know obviously the mental and stuff's uh, obviously very very serious and obviously it's uh, led him to do something really you know and it's, it's it's awful like I say it's just I don't know where to start when you talk about things like this because it's just mm. so sad that you lose such a great guy um, but that way you know Don the, the, there is a feeling it's an in, injustice isn't there and, 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 and not being able to, to, to know why and we may never know the reason why but it doesn't make it any easier to compute does it no it definitely doesn't and just a tip to on something that uh, Don mentioned there mm. he was definitely the pin up boy of Welsh football yeah. um, it was it turned the Welsh national team around I mean a couple of years ago there were 
a bit of a laughing stock, you know, without being too harsh on them. They weren't mm. playing good football, they were getting beat all the time. And I think he's taken up them 150 something to 45th in yeah. the world rankings in one year. And that's some doing by any yeah. by any means. And it's, um, I, I don't know, it's just, you've got to think what, why, what, what's happened, what's driven him to do this. And I think, I'm sure things may come out, things may not come out. It's, uh, but. Where you don't really want to ask the question no. you just want to kind no. of leave it I think you know the respect there for his family Absolutely. And, uh, and you know and his two children his wife his parents as well um, I want to hear from Eddie Gray now he, he came into the Oaks Radio Studios a little bit earlier on he is as uh, as distraught and as upset as, as any of us Eddie he signed uh, Gary Speed as a schoolboy. Um, this is what he had to, to say to Johnny Buchan earlier on you look at it and he was sitting on football focus on Saturday with Gary McAllister ex-teammates manager at Leeds United and you know, seemed, you know, in great spirits and when you hear news like that you just can't believe what's happened. I don't think anybody can really understand. I mean, the thing about Gary was he was, you know, such a nice fella, Gary. I mean, courteous to everybody, uh, great manner with him. I mean, you know, we're all feeling sad, you know, you just, you just can't imagine how his, his wife and his kids and his family are feeling. I just think he was a great player. I mean, he played he played with great players. He was fortunate himself to play with great players, but the great players that played with him were fortunate as well. I mean, his dedication to the game, um, you know, you wouldn't have to tell somebody like Gary Speed to, to work hard or, you know, live right. I mean, he did everything right in the football park. I mean, Howard Wilkinson would tell you that, Billy Bremner before that. You know, when he was coming through the ranks here as a young kid, you know, they would all say the same thing about Gary Speed. How good a player was he then? Where what? did he rank? Oh, he's right up there with the best players. I mean, you look at his record, I mean, his record is astounding. I mean, played more games for Leeds United than any other club, scored more goals for Leeds United than any other club, you know, and his legacy he's left here is that he won a league championship, mm. you know, and there's only two sides in history. I've done that, Don Revy's side and Howard Wilkinson's side. How should he be remembered in terms of memorials and things along those lines, Eddie? Where do well, you stand with that? That's always a difficult one, that, Johnny. I mean, his everlasting memorial to the Leeds United fans is that league championship he brought to this football club. I mean, you know, as I say, he played in a great side and Howard Wilkinson's side, and, but he was a vital part of that side. Um, and he went on to do great things at other football clubs as well. I mean, that's why he was so well respected. You know, he went back to his boyhood club as well. He supported Everton. And you think in Newcastle and Bolton, you know, like, mm. he just, he was just a terrific player. And I think every manager that he played under, uh, they've all great things to say about him. They've all great things to say about him as a player, as a man. And I think that's the important thing. No, just as a footballer, John, but as as a person. And I know you've been out around the the Billy Bremner statue. Some some great tributes out there as well. It just shows how many people he did touch, even though many of them will have never even met him. Well, a lot of the people that will be there the day have probably have never seen him play. You know, but I think you know I think the history of football club. He, he's a major part of the history of football club, uh, and he'll always be remembered here at Leeds United. Eddie Gray there talking to us earlier on today. He's talking about the legacy there of Gary Speed, and he probably hits the, it's the nail on the head there, Don. That his legacy is his is his contribution to to the club and and the success that he brought to it. Yeah, one hundred percent. You know, Eddie, Eddie knew Gary well, and um, yeah, everything he said there was absolutely spot on. And he did bring so much to Leeds United. You know, he's come through the ranks. You know, and he's won the league. Here. Not many players did that. Mm. You know, and his contribution to that as well with his goals and his effort. You know, I, I love players like like Gary Speed because. They work so hard, and the fans know you know what you're getting every game from a Gary Speed, you know. And so many players nowadays in this day and age that you don't know what you're getting for every week. And he was one of those that you could rely on. And if I, if I was a manager, he'd be one of the first. He would, well, he would be the first name on, on the sheet for me. Um, not got long left before we hear from Simon Grayson, but it's going to be a strange game tomorrow, isn't it? Isn't it, Dom? It is, yeah. And I think the um, the proposed tribute that we've got planned, obviously, um, on the 11th minute for an 11 minute chant. I think that's um, it's a nice touch and uh, just. You got to show your respect to and when you can, and it. But it is going to overshadow the game. But uh, we'll try and get three points uh, mm. to honour his memory. Yeah, and I think that's very much the message from from the lead squad, uh, Dom and Dom. Appreciate your time tonight. I know it's been uh, 
It's been a, a tough and a strange, strange old few days, and I appreciate you both coming in uh, and talking about Gary Speed because I think everybody's uh, feeling very emotional still right now. Uh, one man who certainly is is one of uh, Gary Speed's uh, best friends, and he's also the Leeds United manager, Simon Grace. And I, uh, I, I caught up with him a bit earlier on today at the Leeds United training ground. And you touched on his, his contribution at Leeds, just just massive. I mean, part of that midfield that, that won the first division, but but also you know part of the team that, that got promoted, which was which was you know really really important at the time. Of course, it was, and. Um... Um, and, and, and as I said, you, there's been some fantastic players that have played for this football club, and I think you have a, an affinity with a club where you sort of make your debut. And as a, a 14 year old, we were innocent young kids who came here. I remember debut before him, but he wasn't too long afterwards uh, making him, and he, he got the opportunity and grasped his opportunity. And as I, as I said, that he was part of a, a quartet that was will go down as one of the finest midfield quartets to have played for this football club, and that's that's takes some beating because there's been some fantastic um, um, players that have played for this football club, and and I think Howard touched on it as well that if he, wherever he was asked to play, he played, and he give his give his best. I probably never come across a player who could head a ball like him with his. Runs and, and the leap that he had, and um, and obviously he'll leave a, a legacy at this football club and all the other clubs that he represented. I mean, a fantastic player. I mean, you know, he wasn't Lionel Messi, but he was a player. I guess that that is a great lesson for any youngster coming up coming up through. Sam, well, how you can make the best of what you what you have. Yeah, he was a role model. I think he he realised what he could do. Like we all did in that gener that generation, that we wanted to work hard. We we represented sort of. Players who who just wanted to make good of the ability that they've got, and he and he certainly did that. And uh, he was two-footed, strong in the air, tackling, and and he, he was just a, a leader as well. You see that with the teams that he captained. Well, hence went on to be uh, a manager as well. And uh, obviously, there's so many people that are going to be disappointed and upset with all this situation. And it is hard to to understand it, uh, what's happened. I think it's going to take a long time to sink in. What about your memories of you know of Gary? You know here. You know, as your teammate coming up, coming up through through Leeds as you friends. Well, so many really. When you're apprentices, we have used to have court cases on a Friday. There was a lad called Pete Maguire who was one, and he got sort of fastened to uh, the post. And Speedo was there with the boot polish and the, and the horse pipe. And the lad actually, the next time we went to have one, ran more or less back to Huddersfield. Is that worried about what was happening? Remember the f one of the first days that when we got here, um, that. The digs that we were given when we first come at 16, I went to Barrick and Elmer, which is a nice village, and um, Gary got sent elsewhere, and he was absolutely gutted because he was quite jealous of where we were. And one of the other occasions probably was when he was playing cricket, and, and Gary knew how much I played cricket and, and was OK. He, I think he was at Everton at the time, and he came back, he said, look, Simon, don't ball too fast, I've got my looks to think about. So he hence he hit me for six out the ground. <laughs> Next ball, I said, right, you, you're packing your bags, I'm getting you out, and, and I got him out in here. And uh, that was just speed. I liked the laugh and a joke, and and it's just obviously going to be many more memories that people will have. There's probably too many because it was just a, a bundle of fun to have. All the coaching courses would be telling stories and joking with each other, and reminiscing about sort of all the um, the good days that we had as apprentices. Because in them days you could get away with doing stuff, um, and then the Billy Bremner days where we'd be leaving the training ground at six o'clock after spending two hours cleaning up and then Billy gets the balls back out and then we have to go and tidy up again and that and that was just sort of the group that we had and it's uh, there'll be a lot more memories that'll come flooding back now and uh, it's something that you um, you don't realise at the time but you'll tre cherish for certain now At a time like this I mean, it makes you know the game of football seem pretty irrelevant doesn't it? Well it does um, and I'm sat in my office yesterday morning up here at Thor Parts wondering about the result at the weekend and what we need to do for Tuesday night and it just put it all into perspective that um, as much as still disappointed about the result that sort of um, took everything away and at the time I was sort of blown away by the situation I was I was shedding a tear as many other people have done because it was uh, news that didn't we weren't expecting if somebody had told me he died you expect it to be maybe something from illness a short illness which wasn't to be the case and um, yeah, we have to put our professional head on now and work this morning like I've done and the rest of the day. But just because uh, you're working doesn't mean to say you're not thinking about things. Every time you're looking on the telly and, and your computer, there's tributes to him and it makes you, uh, it still upsets you now and it will do for, for a few more days. But hopefully we can get a result tomorrow night, which will be uh, just reward for a fantastic person and footballer. Yeah, I guess, you know, the, the players as well. I mean, I guess they're, they're probably a little bit shaken up as well, like everybody. Yeah, um, I think obviously. 
the whole country and, and, and further afield are, are just uh, astonished by what's happened and um, the players have uh, look, they, they probably didn't know him one or two may have come across him in, uh, in, in, in clubs that they've been at but I'm, I'll tell you one thing that they will know they'll know what a good player he was and the respect that he had because of his reputation um, and the stats will prove that how good a player he was and uh, the players are obviously um, yeah, upset by the situation and, and hopefully now they realise what it means to, uh, to have a livelihood as a footballer because you never know when it's going to be taken away from you I think the fans will let you, let you know that tomorrow at Nottingham Forest and as, as you say I mean, you know, the, one of the tributes you can make is you know, getting a win, win for Gary tomorrow Yeah, that would be the thing that we'd like to set out to do our fans obviously um, appreciate good players and, and there will be a fitting tribute to it and uh, it'll be an emotional night but let's try and get a victory to... Uh, to uh, to, to, to respect Gary as a, as a player and a person, as I said. Away goes Speed. He's got a start on them all this time. Go on, Gary Speed. Get one yourself, son. And what a great goal. Four goals to nil. And Gary Speed really wrapped things up. 